Hi everyone, welcome to 2018. This is our first video. Uh, we've talked a lot about in previous videos about techniques, about Photoshop, uh, we've even dived into Max a little bit. But in, in this one specifically, we thought, hey, let's start 2018 with some professional advice, really get you guys on the professional track on how to land your first job and a few key techniques to do so. Don't forget to like and comment below. I mean, we'd really like to hear your experiences. Everyone has a great first job story. So uh, let us know your, your key feedback and your experience. Get noticed online. One of the best ways to land a job is actually make the job come to you. And that's what getting noticed online is all about. Make the most of social media. Use the platforms that are best suited to your creative field. Photographers and architects might use Instagram. They might use Facebook. They might use Behance. Uh, videographers might use Vimeo, they, they might use YouTube. So really make the most of these platforms and make them shine for you. Use forums, use groups, use websites. They are great places not only to get a lot of creative feedback, but they're also great because employers have an eye on these things and the better your work is, the more that you're going to get noticed there. Some I highly recommend are Arch Daily, DZine, Evermotion, CG Architect, uh, Ronan Berkman, these are all great platforms and have a very lively and vibrant community. Have a web presence. I cannot mention just how important it is to have a web presence and have your contact info nice and clear. One of those I recommend is Squarespace. It's not only really easy, and I'm not sponsored by them in any way, but it's really easy and it's quite cost effective and it will really help you kind of build something relatively quickly for any creative field. Your portfolio is you, it's your best expression, right? So make it shine, keep it simple, creative, and fun. Start with your best work and end with your second best work. Simplicity is the key in this. Don't forget, don't overdo it. We don't wanna see everything, we wanna see the key elements. Tailor it to meet a specific company's needs. Don't just randomly shoot out a thousand emails to all these uh, architectural companies, but Focus, focus on the ones you wanna to go to, focus what they do and tailor your portfolio to it. Focus on your essential skills, but don't forget to add that little extra bit of spice. Uh, if you're doing 3D, really focus on that 3D, but I mean, there are a lot of fields that are connected to it. Photography, sketching, uh, many uh, graphic design. These are the little things, the little, what I call spices, and they really complement your portfolio and show you as a rounded artist. Do your research about a company when you're complementing your portfolio. Find out what they're missing. It may be they're missing something essential like VR, AR, something like that, or something they're getting into. So if you really love doing that, find out who needs that, and they might be just on the lookout for someone with your skill set. Also, one of the key things you should always have is your contacts super visible and easy to read, right? These people are looking at hundreds of portfolios. So they really, if they find something interesting and they want to connect with you, it should be really simple. Competitions and personal work. These are not only great to show a little bit of the professional side and you get a little bit of that professional experience, but they'll also show future employers a lot of initiative and also show a little bit of your skill set. They're also really helpful to improve on your software skills as you'll be using a wide variety of softwares, video, uh, stills, CAD drawings, whatever, but you're going to be using a lot of them to create all these creative ideas that you got in your head. A couple of really important competitions that come to mind are the Volo and the Europan. These are like big ones in the architectural field and I know a couple of friends like my friend Islam have participated in them and done really amazingly. If you're a visualizer, you have the CG Architect Awards, which are really out there as one of the big ones for the year and that everyone really wants to win. So many of the artists who have submitted to these awards and they're not even the ones that have won, they've, they've landed amazing jobs and they've gotten their name out there. And I really suggest it's, it's an amazing tool to get your name out there. So be on the lookout for these competitions. Events are great places to meet people. Um, make the most of meetups and conferences near you. Try and find out which ones you have near, which ones you can go to every year, and really try and get to meet people. Many companies have recruiting representatives at these um, meetups and these conferences, and they're always on the lookout. So, I mean, the best advice I can give you is just uh, go up and say hello. Don't be shy. Some that I recommend, especially if you're in Archviz, uh, 3DS London, uh, that's in our area, so it's one of the big ones. Uh, 
D2 conferences we went this year, which were also amazing. Uh, big hello to Fabio and Jason. 3D Symposium, my love goes out to Aldo and all he's done. And Treasure and Horse uh, was a unicorn with Andre, especially if you're in the Archbiz. Then there are a couple other others that are really cool. Uh, Creative Pro Show, State of Art Academy. There are a lot of them out there. So I really uh, urge you to make the most of it and really try and attend one. Think different and experiment. This is the best time to do it. This is when you're starting out your professional career. So try different tools, um, try new techniques and really think outside the box. One of the applications that comes to mind is the Yo is More one, which I found particularly funny and interesting because it, it got around a lot on the social media and he basically showed his skill set in the video and showed his persona and how he was and all his hobbies. So it was really complete, short and sweet. So really think outside the box and look at these types of things and they might give you extra ideas. Start looking for your first job from the word go. Don't wait around to finish your uni or your school and get out and start looking whilst all your colleagues are looking. You're gonna have a lot more competition. So it's important to keep that final objective straight away in your mind. Try some internships. We've had a couple of people inquire into these and they seem to be a really interesting way to get ahead and at least get your foot into the professional environment. There is never a perfect moment to start looking for that first job. Uh, we've all been in that situation where we think, okay, I've got this element missing, I've got that element missing, but really you should not let this get in the way and you should start straight away and complement these as you go along. The interview. Once you've gotten your foot in the door, the hardest thing is to really keep it there, right? Expand on your portfolio, take complementary items, uh, photo albums you've created, sketches, things that can also help you explain uh, your body work and you as a professional. Prepare for every bit of difficulties, your laptop not working, your iPad dying, uh, your USB not working, you should always have a backup. Prepare for the interview, research the company, know what they're good at, know what they're known for, and most of all, be yourself. At the end of the day, these companies are looking for people, human beings that can interact and just have a team environment. And this is really one of the key essential skills more and more in this day and age. At the end of your interview, always ask for feedback. What can you improve? You're with these professionals that have got this vast amount of experience. So really try and get as much as you can from them. Don't give up. It can be grueling finding your first job and you're gonna go through a lot of rejection. You can go through a lot of it and it's normal, but it's important to just try and keep motivated every day keep trying and take all that experience to really push you forward. So we've reached the conclusion of this video. So as a quick recap, get noticed online, the importance of competition and personal work, the importance of your portfolio, which is your demonstration. It's your best vehicle to show who you are. And don't forget, be prepared and never give up. I'd just like to take the chance to thank everyone for your support. All the people who have uh, supported us are continuously commenting, showing their love for the channel. Don't forget to visit arc9learn.com. It's where we have all our tutorials, all our photo packs, all these complimentary things that really complement the channel and also help us grow. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, I mean, let us know what, how your first job is uh, and your experience. And the next video that we have upcoming is the portfolio reviews, which uh, Pete behind me will be participating in as well. And uh, catch you on the next one. Don't forget, do it in post. <laughs>